Here we go, we put a little cornstarch or you can use rice starch or potato starch just to coat the fish and give it a nice crisp finish and then we go straight on to frying. It's had some time to sit and so the flavour should be wonderful once it's done. All those spices the meat of the fish. Okay, let's go fry. Now at this stage, um, most of the water has evaporated and what's happening is that the oil, the coconut oil is separating from the cream. So you have this clear oil right over here and that is going to brown nicely into nice brown bits of coconut. And this is where you want to wash it carefully so that it will brown nicely and not burn. I wish you could smell this. You have a really nice fragrant smell of coconut. So there are various types of coconut rice. This is only one way to make it. There are other ways to make it. This is the brown coconut rice. Here. Now, now we have nice brown bits of coconut. Watch it, don't let it burn. Next step, our rice. I'm going to use just two cups of rice and wash it. Give it a good stir. And just make sure that you are braising the rice now. Making sure that the grains are coated with the oil. Those brown bits of coconut are going to be fed to the rice when it cooks. And when you take a scoop of rice, you are going to bite into some coconut. It's almost like candy. Okay, now to this, we add a tablespoon of brown sugar. That's about a tablespoon. 
Somebody's going on. <gasps> Sugar and rice. But trust me, the recipe is worth it. About a teaspoon of salt and a handful of raisins. Now, that is optional, but hey, as much as you like. Or if you don't want raisins in your food, you can just leave it out. And you stir this. And what you're going to get is the most wonderful, savory, but sweet rice with fruits and nuts in suspense. Just chop it up. Just enough. Let's just cover this and let it simmer. And every day you can hear her shout. Coconut woman is calling out. And every day you can hear her shout. Get your coconut water. But it's good for your daughter. Coca got a lot of iron. Coca got a lot of iron. Make you strong like a lion. So here we are, we are going to make the sauce that will be served with the fried fish and the brown coconut rice. Uh, we are going to go back to the way the native mothers used to do it. We are going to put some momone or stockfish and we are going to blend that together with some pea aubergines, also known as turkey berries or kwewusisa. Then some ginger, some sweet pepper that has been cut up into chunks and some green chilies, just green chili peppers and some smoked prawns together with some onions, some broadleaf sage, salt and oil. We are going to blend everything together and just fry it up in the oil. Simple as that, 10 minutes our sauce will be ready. Onions. Pepper, ginger, turkey berries, except for the momone actually, or the fish in there, which we'll start the sauce with. And then this has been washed already, so we just rip it apart and put it in here. And a touch of salt. Remember, the momone is salted, so don't go overboard with the salt. You can always adjust the seasoning later. And we're going to add a little bit of water to help it blend. There we go. The blender. And green. Put some oil, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Soft, so as soon as it hits the pan, here you have it too. It just breaks up. It integrates and become one with the salt. And it's almost like um, anchovies, salted anchovies. That's our version. Very pungent, but without it, the salt will not taste the same. You can leave it out if you want. We're going native. Okay, and then in there, those are salt. You can make it as spicy or as mild as you want, but with fish, a little spice is always nice. And the way the rice is kind of sweet and savory, if the sauce is a bit spicy, we're going to complement it beautifully. So now we just cover it. It doesn't take long to cook. We cover it and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Special and warm. A few moments. 